Happy Sunday, my film friends. Dave the Film Junkie here. Yes, I was horrible this time around. Last week, I actually was like, I got I got the recording in before noon. You know, still in my robe. I was still drinking coffee, but didn't quite happen today. Eh, I had a pretty long day yesterday and stuff like that. Get a little too, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, box office. If you're new to my box office video, I'll give you the top five domestic earnings. Yep, that's what I do. But of course, I talk about the international earnings because that does help. You know, I mean, we're looking at those numbers more and more all the time. So here we go, guys. Coming in number five in its second week, uh, Truth or Dare. And it made $7.9 million over the weekend, bringing that grand total to uh, domestic $30.4 million. Had a $3.5 million budget, so it already made its money back well over. Uh, domestically, full on, it made $38.3 million. So, yep, definitely a success. I heard it was horrible, though. Didn't really want to see it. Coming to number four, and I'm going to post my review for it to sometime today. Uh, Super Troopers 2. It made $14.7 million over the weekend. They actually raised, uh, I was listening to something, they raised with a, you know, a fan-funded account, a fan-funded campaign. They raised $4.6 million, and then I guess um, they added a little bit too with pri private financing, and then of course the studios added to it to promote it and stuff. So they had a budget of $13.5 million, and they already made it back. So this is already a success, even though it came in fourth. And, you know, fans love it. And that's all that really matters with that movie. It was, they weren't trying to, you know, blow up the box office. They were just giving the fans what they've want, been wanting for, what, 14 years or whatever the fuck it was. And then, you know, they were successful at it. So there you go. Congratulations, Broken Lizard motherfuckers. Anyways, coming at number three. I feel pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, this freaking movie. I, I almost decided to see it because I was seeing Super Troopers 2 on Friday with friends as opposed to my normal Thursday night alone showing, which sounds like, like, like I'm a lonely person, and I am, but it's okay. The movies, they're my friends. Anyways, um, I feel pretty. I almost saw it, but I was like, no, I'm not going to see this. I just love that Amy Schumer, I mean, Trainwreck was good. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't like Amy Schumer now, but I did before when she was really edgy. And then her first really movie, Trainwreck with Judd Apatow, R-rated, you know, didn't hold back. It was good. Now it seems like she's just trying to appease and be all political and politically correct. And she just sucks now. She just did a flip and I can't stand her now. So um, naturally, I'm kind of glad that her movie didn't do that well because $16.2 million over the weekend with a $32 million budget, I mean, it might make its money back, but I highly doubt it. And it got shit on by critics, as well as feminists, the people that she was trying to appease to. Feminists don't like the message that it was trying to give, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, coming to number two in its second week, Rampage, and it made 20, $21 million over the weekend, bringing that grand total domestically 66.6 million dollars but of course of course globally it's made 283 million bucks so it looks like it's going to be making its uh, money back it was big in china huge in china they love their big monsters but they didn't like pacific rim that much the second one <laughs> yeah i i agree with you guys anyways coming to number one reclaiming the top spot and i fucking love it a quiet place 22 million dollars over the weekend it actually got in more theaters so that's pretty cool you know, and obviously it's already made its money back with a $17 million budget. Overall, worldwide, it's made $207.1 million. I'm just, I, I just love that. I love that. Small horror movie, first time director, and John Krasinski, who, who everybody loves. I mean, he just seems like a great guy. And he made something unique and special. Original! Originality, folks, and people are supporting it. How about that? Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel, visit filmjunkie.com for all my content that I still need to update. And then, of course, visit the closet for shirts and stickers. All right, guys? I'll talk to you later.